Well, hello guys. Changing the thumbnail. Welcome back, or welcome to your first episode of The Road to Glory. It's season number four, episode number five, but it's a brand new start. I really should call these episode number one, but I'm going to go with five, just to keep the order and the OCD levels down, as today, Ajax. We're in Holland. We have our new job, as my voice is going very grisly at the moment. I apologise for that. As, yeah, we moved from doing quite bad with Sunderland recently to the Ajax job. I know, I have no idea how this move's gone along, but stuff like this do happen in football. I mean, <clears throat> look at only Gunnar Solskjaer. Bit of shade thrown straight on the Man United boss, but he went Cardiff, he went Mould, and then he went Man United. As we've gone bad with Sunderland to Ajax, but to be fair, Ajax are not where they want to be, so I can understand why they've took a punt with the manager. They can afford to do. PSV, boss in the league standings, we have a defeat and two draws as uh, Hercules are five points behind us. We are firmly in second as it stands, but of course the objectives show they want us to win the league, win the cup and reach the quarterfinals of, yes, the Champions League that we're in now, as today's fixtures are... 20 to start off my first game at the Johan Cruyff Arena. Big, big occasion that one. Then we actually play again at home against Dortmund. Then we play away to top of the league PSV. Yes, it's a rocky start. Feyenoord. And then Dortmund again, which I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I don't know if I'm going to actually get on to that. I might do four games today and, of course, introduce you to this squad. As here it is. Here is your introduction. We don't have many players here. Uh, but I've gone for like a youthful kind of setup and of course our best setup as our main goalkeeper looks like it's going to be Gort. So we've got a very fast team, a couple of Mexicans in Sanchez, 92 pace right back and Tuna, 92 pace winger. We've got Danilo who's our top scorer on six joint with Bergweiss who is just behind him in camp. I think this will be probably his last season. How old is he now? He's 32. Maybe he has a couple more. As Anthony should be our brining, uh, shi shining bright star. Oh, got there in the end. But it doesn't look like he is with his stats. 24 year old, but does need to get more involved in the season. We've got Davy Klaassen, ex-Tottenham and Werder Bremen with Cubas at the side of him. We've got Harwood Bellis and we've got this young kid, Delange, who is 16, 65 rated left back and we've got an 18 year old Argentinian centre back called Mosqueria who looks really good as well and that is the first team we've got the bench as well right here uh, including the reserves as Pasavia is 40 year old our third choice keeper I think goalkeeper is a position we might have to strengthen how old is Gortner no, he's 24 yeah maybe could get someone else in there we've got Leibad who is in the reserves for me at the moment. He's 31 year old. I don't see potential in him. We've got Kleiber. We've got Patrice, who's like 31. Yeah, so we've got aging players. And then we've got really young players. No in between, which is something we kind of need to try and figure out as I can't wait to get this league started, man. Hopefully, we ha well, we have to kick on. We can't be having the form we had at Sunderland. But hopefully the games are a little bit easier because the quality in terms of us compared to them should be a lot more. But of course... We had that Sunderland and Notts for it, or Nottingham for it. When we built teams up, we actually struggled against teams lower rated than us. So, it's a minor issue, not a major. As you might be able to spot the graphic at the side as well. There we are holding the shirt. We have changed our appearance. The blazer is no more. Listen to the comments, especially you, William Shakespeare. And I took the jumper off. We've only got the stripy tie that remains. I don't want to see Campbell getting player of the month. We've cut his hair and we've gone for a longer beard. Gone for... The Ajax look, if I could ever imagine one. I don't really know what else there is to show you. You've seen our fixtures. You've seen the team now. The scouts are out. We play 15th place 20, so they aren't doing the greatest at the moment. And, of course, our team is very good. I have sent scout reports out, and I've got players on the list with 38 million to spend in January to hopefully build us up. As here's my first press conference. Clearly, I'm not doing a Joey Barton and just changing my accent to Dutch. Oh, not Joey Barton. Steve McLaren did it the best, didn't he? That was hilarious, as we are just going to finish it up right there. Spoke to everyone, thank you very much. As it seems, the AZ Alkema have played their game, and they're 15 points now. Still five behind us, as we've just got to decrease that gap. And I feel like the team I showed you is the team I'm going to play. I'm going to go with the weaker left back, but of course, trying up his potential. As it's Gartner in goal, Sanchez, Mosqueta, Harwood, Bellis, the Englishman, who isn't actually on loan, he's permanently here. 
at Ajax with Delang at left back, Kubas and Klaassen sit in with Bergwijs just in front, Anthony and Tuna and Danilo are my front three as we are going to keep this formation rocking as well. I think Danilo's a tall striker also so that should help us out, I love my tall strikers. And let's see how we can do in the first game. Here we are, stepping off the bus. Davi Klaassen in front of us, the captain, as there I am. No blazer on in this job. I'm, I think it should be quite warm in Holland. Maybe I'm wrong about that, as here's the new stadium. We've gone from the city ground to the Stadium of Light, and now the Johan Cruyff Arena. Look at it, absolutely beautiful. And if you would have asked me if I were doing a career in Holland at the start of this year, I would have said no, but this road to glory... Well, it wasn't supposed to be a road to glory, but this career has took us in a different direction. We are in Amsterdam, ready for this first game. And FC Twente have Lars Understall in goal, Giovanni Truppi with Robin Proper, Kasper Staring and Cardenas at left back, Zerny, Zaruki, Bosch and Spikic with Castro supporting Peñarda. Up front. Now, this is a different team to the norm, of course. Names in this league probably going to stump me a little bit, but I do not care. Let's try and get our 10 year off at Ajax to a good start. It's Mosqueta with an instant pass around the corner into Davi Klaassen. The aging captain has to try and prove himself right here. I mean, I have got big thoughts of signings that I do want to make as the pass. Oh my days, it is just like Sunderland. The pass is off a little bit right there as 20, 15th place side. Going to try and come at us right here, of course. They are going to have their chances. It's not going to be easy riding. They know which manager they've really got right here as that's a free kick to us. Delage to take it. He is a small left back as well, him, isn't he? As that pass is not a good one, but Cubas picks up on it right here. Bergweiss turns into them. As it's Harwood Bellis picking a pass off to Antuna, into Cubas, into Bergweiss right here as well as Cubas needs to try and find a pass through that middle. Finds Danilo, the striker, sitting further back, but... These are actually quite good defensively. Don't know how they're this low down. 15 minutes in the block to every single thing that I've done. But that's just typical, isn't it? As that pass goes straight back to them. It's on to Castro. Looking over the top. Gartner's going to just dive on that one. As we've got quality all over the field. And it's actually a change to say that. No offence to my old Sunderland and Forest team. But every position just seems strong. As Antuna has pace. That's a great turn. Danilo in the middle of the park. As we're going to try and cross this. Back post, it's into Bergweiss, Bergweiss with the header, Understall with the stave. And it is a good save as well, as that header's a terrible one. Big first chance of the game for us right there, as now Cerny is going to try and catch us on the off chance, as Cardenas gives it into Cerny, that's a bad back heel though. As who's the manager of um, Ajax in real life? It's Den Haag, isn't it? I'm guessing maybe he's moved on to bigger and better things, and I've come and took over him, so maybe the fans aren't the best pleasing my acquisition, but I've got to try and turn them to my side as Danilo tries to get that pass off right there. It looks like a quiet first half, although Bergweiss picks up on this. He's going to go for a curler and understall with a save again. It's actually two decent chances for us. There's now Troopy onto Spikic into the middle, and that's a pass straight into Castro, who hammers it in the top corner. <laughs> it wouldn't be us without Twente going in front and going behind early on in this game. We are actually losing to 15th place 20 in our first game at home. Now, this is not a good sign. We've dominated on chances, but it's those who go up the other end and just hammer that in the top bin. When will our luck change? Castro out wide right here to Spikic as he gives it back into Troopy. Chasing the ball down a little bit here. Bosch into proper across into Spikic again as that's a good pass. I mean, 20 are playing with a bit of confidence right here. We've got to try and knock this as Anthony goes for that switch. It's a good one into Antuna who receives it very well. He's going to keep on running and we need men in the box. We need to try and get one at the front post. Danilo with the run. Understall saves. Great save from this keeper. At least we're creating more chance than we usually do as we've got a player with no name on his back. I don't know who that is as Danilo's leaping for that one off his shoulder. As Delang has to read a little pass around the corner right there and doesn't get his pass off very greatly. It's into Castro. Now over to Cerny. Their left winger, as it's going to be them who finish this first half off the stronger, I think. This is good passing. Cerny keeps hold of the ball right here, and he's gone backwards into Cardenas. Cerny again tries to skip past us, but is unsuccessful in that opportunity, as that's the half-time whistle as well. We're 1-0 down at home in our first game, and this is just what I did not want to see. 
Big improvements required in this second half. And it's really getting me thinking of signings that I've got to make, of course, in the new year when I see players doing as bad as they have done in that first half, especially up front. We have had chances, but still not taking them, as we need someone to take them, as that passes straight through to Gartner, the keeper, who had absolutely no chance. So I'm not blaming him so far. In, of course, Nayak's shirt. He didn't really have a chance with that shot as Anthony... On that wing, the 85 rated, not doing that great. Rear mode just doesn't seem to be about stats or ratings at all this year. And it's really confusing as Anthony is going to find the pass off right there to the right back Sanchez. Though that's into Danilo. That's a good ball. And that's 1-1 one, one straight away. The big man does score up front. And finally, we take one of our chances. It's, of course, the man who should be scoring who gets us level. Now that is a good finish. What a quality cross from the right back, I should say as well. Sanchez finds him very, very well. Free as a bird in the midfield. Oh, not midfield, but middle of the box. And Understall has absolutely no chance with that one. It's a glorious lead. Now Cubas has the ball. There's a slide tackle coming behind him, but we still have kept hold of this as Cubas gives it out wide to Antuna. And Tuna's going to look for a pass in the midfield. And Danilo, this is good play now. We look like we've got confidence. There's Kubas across net. On a stall with another save right there, though. On the hour mark, it's still level, which I don't want it to finish level, of course. We are chasing top spot in the league this year. As Penyaninda gives the ball on to Cerny. Don't let them counter. And still waiting for this goal as Bergweis. Danilo making a good run through the middle. I've held on to it a little bit too long, but Cubas does receive it out wide to the left back. Delange whipping a ball. Anthony, oh, he needs to start trying to win these. I mean, he is a really skillful and quick, agile player, but my style of football, being in the championship four years, is quite route one. So he's got to try and win headers if he's going to stay in this team. Zaruki with a pass around to Castro. That's a good hammer forward into Sherney. Now Zaruki. It's back out wide, the sneaking forward. There's only 14 minutes to go, and Cardenas had a good opportunity to cross right there. Gives it to Cerny. They, they look like they're trying to hold it up in the corner a little bit. So I do hear a couple of boos going around the Amsterdam Arena, or of Jojen Cruyff Arena, as Howard Bellis had to put his head where it hurt there. They had a little bit of a chance, as we need to try and counter. Danilo, we have pace on either wing, if we can find Antuna, as we do find him. Anthony at the other side, a little bit out of it, though. He's going to pass that in the midfield, into Danilo. Bergweiss, can he find Anthony out wide? He can. Anthony with a cross, Danilo in the middle! And it's in! But I think it's come off his hand, it's not going to count. So unlucky. That's absolutely heartbreaking how we did score, but the referee won't let it stand as we made subs. Rodriguez is a defensive midfielder, but I've put him on just to give him a chance. And Jensen is an attacking one. He's got space right here, Jensen. Going to hammer it from range, and Jensen's won it! Straight off the bench! What a goal! He's got the captain's armband on. He's come on for Klassen. And what a strike from the number 26. It looks like our first game will end in a victory after the substitute just was allowed to bring it in towards the edge of the box and just wax it through bodies. That is how we like to do it. Look at this. Takes it. Bang. What a strike from the cam. Our future captain, maybe. I mean, I'm a big fan of Jensen right now. 2-1 at home. What a goal that is. Victor Jensen literally just stepped foot off the bench and does that when we need him to. We scored and it didn't count and I thought that was it. But no. We're actually going to keep on plugging along as now we've got three minutes left in this one. Tripoe passes that back into Bosch. We've got to hold on. I'm glad I put a CDM on now in Rodriguez as don't let them get forward. Come on, let's just sit how we was sitting. Very, very strong in this game as Pendrandia with a chip over the top. Anthony with his header. He's won his headers. He's listened to me as now it's on to Antuna. We can try and switch this ball across the field as we do so. And that's landed to Vink, the backup striker now on the field. Vink with a shot and Unastar with a good save. Could have got our youth striker a goal, but that's the end of the game. And it is a start. Three points in the bag for us. What a first game that is. It had everything. We had to come from behind in that second half. And what a victory it was. Ajax 2-21. It's not going to be disappointment. And straight after that one, it's the competition of all competitions. We have one point in the UEFA Champions League. We've skipped the conference. We've skipped the Europa League. We are straight into the big guns. As Bergweiss is speaking about how... 
He played in Cam and it was successful. I mean, it was, but Jensen coming off the bench was successful as well as it's a midweek game. We've got scout reports coming back and it's kind of a big one because both of these teams, us and Dortmund, sit on one point in the group. Even Spartak Moscow have got two. As look at that graphic. That's a very, very sleek graphic as well, isn't it? Most goal involvements is Bergwijn, so maybe he does stay in the team. I do, of course, have to think about the weekend game against PSV as well, so... This is a very difficult game to fit them out as we have got a red card. That makes the job a little bit easier. Maybe, maybe we do go with Jensen. Actually, we've got to, haven't we? He did score that win and yes, I'm going to controversially do it. I'm going to go for defensive midfielders. I'm going to give Rodriguez another tryout. Cubas can be saved for the league as that is the team. I'll walk you through it. It's the first Champions League one. Why not? Gortner, Sanchez, Mosquera, Howard, Bellis, DeLang, Rodriguez, Klaas and Jensen, Anthony, Danilo and Antuna. Although we are in the Champions League, league form is kind of my priority. I know that might be a hard pill to swallow for you guys, purring that, but I think it has to be my priority, doesn't it? As we're still going to give it everything. If you think I'm going easy against Dortmund, you've got me wrong. As there is the man doing the line. It's a big one. It's at home again. Ajax Dortmund. Of course, Dortmund, a team we've had in previous saves. How do they look? It's Corbel in goal. Giovanni Reiner. Is he in defence? I mean, it's switched graphic already. We'll have to have a look this way. Mounier, Amato, Kant and Wiesnal with Luis Felipe in CDM. McTominay, Reiner and Sumare. That'll have to switch around, I think, with El Nyasiri. And Erling Braut Haaland is still at Dortmund. That's a surprise. I thought he might have moved on, but no. He's still in that yellow and black, or what is it, black and amber, yeah, something like that. I don't know what they call it, as they're putting the pressure on us right here. It's going to be a big result if we do get this at home, of course. And in real life, Ajax doing the double, kind of thrashing Dortmund twice. So hopefully we can recreate that right here, but it's going to be a big challenge, as that's a good pass around the corner, though, onto Rodriguez, who we've put in the team for this game. Cross it across, Danilo with a header, Kobo with a save, Anthony shoots, and it's in, but oh, the referees give a penalty. Let the goal stand, ref. Six minutes in, we've started very brightly, but still, we do have a penalty. I can't get past that. It's Davi Klaassen, but let the goal stand, as I'm going to go down the middle, and it's saved. Can you believe it? We've happened. Well, it's happened again, hasn't it? What happened against Norwich when we were, of course, at Sunderland. I can't believe this. It's gone from the Championship to the Champions League. I thought we'd have better officials here. So we've literally just been cheated out of our first goal. But hey-ho, we've got to carry on. What a big goal that would have been as well for... The morale scoring against Dortmund first as we still do carry on being a good team right here. Danilo has the run on right there of Jensen who couldn't get there. It's a terrible clearance from Kobo though. Klassen to win his header down into Antuna who can't keep it. And now Danilo. What can Danilo do right here? He picks a pass out to Anthony. It is all us. Anthony with a dummy. Look at the slick footwork. Anthony actually growing into an Ajax shirt right here as he gives it to Jensen. And Jensen scored again. This guy, what is he? He's literally one of the lowest rated cams we've got. But two games in a row, he's scored important goals as the first Champions League game we have. We take the lead against Borussia Dortmund off the post and off Koble's gloves as well. He should have done better right there, but I don't care. Like I just said, from the Championship to the Champions League and beating Borussia Dortmund. It's still early on, of course, in this game, but to be fair, we have absolutely outplayed Dortmund so far. You can see they're putting the pressure on. That's a terrible foul from Giovanni Reina, but we're going to carry on. Anthony with a quick one-two down this line. It's Sanchez, the right-back, running through, and I'm going to have a crack with this, and that was probably the wrong idea. Yeah, most definitely the wrong idea, as now Haaland... He's going to look for a pass and look at that covering from Mosqueta. A uh, young centre-back getting stuck in right there as Danilo keeps hold of this. And now he's going to spread it out wide. It's Delange, the left-back, running forward. He's got support. He's got support on the other side. He's going to cross this in. It's a scorpion from Rodriguez. And it's a yellow card. Is this a penalty? No, it isn't. It must have just been from before. What a game this is, by the way, though. I'm glad they took the punt on me as manager because this is going very successfully as now Jensen... Gives it to the side, and Tuna, literally Dortmund have done nothing coming forward as Danilo snuck past that tackle as well. He's not the quickest of our forward players, but he can put a ball into the box for Rodriguez to header and hit the keeper. 
I mean, at, at Nottingham Forest and at Sunderland, these crosses, these little dinks that I'm putting into the box, was all I wanted my team to do, and they could never deliver. Here at Ajax, we're on the end of every single one, just not scoring every single one, but it will happen. I have faith. Reina with a pass off right there into Delange onto Mosqueta as we try and receive that ball right there. We can't do. Reina gives it into Sumare. Sumare forward into Haaland. He's going to look for a little bit of a gap. Give it to Wish now. That's a good ball to the back post. No! I knew when it went past Delange it was going in. It is 1 1 now against Borussia Dortmund and the CDM kind of player has hammered a volley in. That is a good finish, you know, and look at this. Haaland chips it out. Wishnell, the Dutch player with an amazing cross, and it's literally their first shot of the game. Back level after dominating Dortmund. Will be a big shame to go into halftime, of course, at 1-1. However, they're having a couple of chances right here. It looks like they've got their front foot in the right position right here as now that passing out was not a good one El Nyasiri picked up on it, Luis Felipe across the middle, Brown Haaland Howard Bellis tackles, McTominay header and Gortner has to save how have they switched this round? I've gone from pure joy to pure panic and anxiety right here as now Reina whips in a ball, it's headed away from Mosqueta, just get that out as at half time it is 1-1 They've managed to get their foot in the game rather well, and I don't like it. Still, straight into this second half we go as Luis Felipe with it, gives it into Reina. Reina turns inside. Jensen, come on, pick up on that, as now Erling Brown Haaland gives it back into McTominay, into Sumare, into Felipe. It's still going to be Dortmund, I think, on the front foot at the start of this one. They've got their passing together. They've had a rocket up their backsides as McTominay goes for a pass around the corner. El Yassiri sweats it across. And Sumare's instantly got the second goal at the start of this second half. He's playing in cam and he's playing on form. Dortmund have just completely grown into this game. Look at this around the corner. And I feel like Howard Belly should have just maybe slid and jumped for that. Maybe got it, but of course he didn't. And it's put into the back post where Gortner was not there. 2-1 down. Champions League is looking a bit shaky at the moment now because we will be rock bottom of this group unless we can get maybe a point and Spartak can go there as Antuna has a run on right here though. What can the Mexican do? It's a good cutback. Try and have a shot on that angle. Oh no! That's gone through the net. How has he missed that? Very, very close but still not happening as now Bergweiss. Oh, he's been caught out. He's just come onto the field as well for Antuna who missed that shot. Saving energy in every player as Sumare had a little bit of a gap. Has to go backwards into Thomas Mounier. Around the corner into Sumare again. Blocked off by Delange. Didn't go out for a corner, which I was hoping it would have done. Onto Mounier again. This is good passing. Scott McTominay. Don't know what he's doing out in Germany as he's won a corner as well. And now we're in. It's all Dortmund. I don't know how they've switched it around. They've done what we did to Twente. As now Olsen comes on up front. He's going to receive the ball from this corner as well. And what's he going to do with it? Speed past Mosqueta in the midfield. And I keep saying midfield. It's into the middle of the box. As it's going to be another corner again. And this is Giovanni Reina. Yes. Whipped in. Haaland wins the header off the post. It's a great save in the end. Off the crossbar. And we survive. Good job. They missed them. Chances there. But still. The move's not over. It's Giovanni Reina. On to... Ben Schumare, whatever his first name is, I'm going to call him Ben, as Haaland, he's actually on a hat-trick, is the CDM, as Haaland keeps this into Mounier, into, is that Basuma? If he's Basuma, still playing football. Now, on that side, as that's a good back heel, Rodriguez reads it, though, and let's try and get out of our zone right here, relieve some pressure. Jensen, over the top to Anthony, counter-attacking, will it work? Anthony keeps hold of the ball, onto Jensen, one more, that's a terrible pass. They forced it, though, to be fair, as Rodriguez, onto Jensen, onto Anthony, has the run right here of Rodriguez, back heel, that does so. A bit further back than I'd like it to be, though, as we still do keep the ball, though, it's onto Rodriguez. Rodriguez... In a narrow angle. Gets it round the corner onto Davi Klaasan. Whips it in. Blocked. Klaasan again. Front post. Jensen gets another one. How has he snuck in there? I am loving how this guy is playing. He's small as well. But he's won his header. And against the run of play, it's 2-2. Turn the game around again. Look at this for a header though. Davi Klaasan doing everything to chip it into that danger zone. Leaps at it. And I tell you what, Koble should do a lot better in goal. I don't care. 
2-2 at the Johan Cruyff Arena. What a first Champions League game. What a way to introduce yourself to the, of course, Ajax faithful as all corner. I thought he'd palmed that completely wrong there, but does save it as there's nine minutes on the clock still. And our counter-attacking team, can we do it again? That's a good run from Danilo, who probably does need to come off for fitness reasons, but I am keeping him on as that's a good pass in. Danilo around the corner to Jensen. Jensen chipped that over the top for Anthony to try and get there. He did get a foot on it past Wijnaldum, and that's a... Very dodgy back pass, but it does pay off for them. As Can we win this header? We do. Sanchez wins it. Into Jensen. Into Danilo. We're still actually going to finish this game off quite strong. As now Basuma plays that across to Wijnald. It's going to be Reina, Giovanni Reina, going backwards himself. As there's three minutes on. At least we don't lose this game. As that's a terrible back pass. You know, and Sanchez, the right back's running through. It's a terrible pass. It's Sanchez. It's Sanchez. Oh, and what a save. We needed to score that. Oh, my days. What a big chance. Still a corner ball. You can hear the fans are behind us right here. He's going to whip it in. Can we win it? No. Sumare away. And it's on to Olsen. As Olsen gets that. No. Across to Haaland. And now it's going to be them to actually run through. It's Erling Brown. Haaland is going out wide, though. He's got the ball through. No. Olsen. On to Haaland. Gordon, what are you doing? And we've lost the game late on after we should have won it. What a turnaround from Dortmund. What a counter-attack, and I can't believe it. We're going to lose the game. We deserved we deserved three points when Carlos Sanchez run through at the last minute there, but that chip should not be going in. Gartner, you've just given up there, and our players have definitely given up after it's gone in. It's going to be a hard graft in this Champions League now with Dortmund, and, of course, Chelsea getting points. But what can you do? And I hate to know it as it was Jensen who kept us in that game, to be fair. The brace from him did provide us well, but we have lost the game on the whole. 50-50. And to be fair, going from Sunderland, I'm saying this a lot, aren't I? But going from Sunderland to Ajax and just narrowly losing to Dortmund is not a bad thing. Well, it's, it is for the club, but not for me. And in the league, well, at least we're still chasing these in the league as this is a big game as well. If we've lost that game, we need to try and rebuild confidence very, very soon. Moving on to PSV, who, of course, are top of this league, which we must try and win. I mean, I said I've got full focus in it. Three very important games going on today. I feel like this is a squad I've got to play again. And our biggest goal contributor is it's, it's Bergweiss. He's been kept out of the team a lot at the moment, isn't he? Do we swap Rodriguez and Cubas? Let's, let's just do it because Rodriguez is tight. I'm a big fan of him, though. I've actually been very uh, impressed, even though he's not very fast. He's very good at defending. As it's Gortner, Sanchez, Mosquera, Tahawa, Bellis, and DeLang. I'm starting him most games now with Cubas, Klaasan, and Jensen. In Cam, who else? With Anthony, Danilo, and Antuna still on that wing over Bergwijn. So I could kind of play there, but I'm going to go with Antuna. As it's top of the league, away for the first time this season. And if we win here... It should turn the fans. We'd be four points off them. And PSV's team is Joel Drummel in goal, Philippe Mouene, Timo Barbgantnel, uh, Brandon Mechele, and Philippe Max, namesake, as Sadilek and Van Ginkel sit in, Abitsha, Ledzema, and Gapko with proper up front. And I already dislike this team. You know why? Their kit is very, very similar to Lincoln's. And that is not something I like to see at all when I play a team. As Davy Klaassen straight away on this ball gives it into Danilo. Danilo absolutely snapped, but we still do keep it. As can we take an early lead in this one? Would be absolutely glorious. Anthony still yet to contribute as much as I'd want him to, as that's a good cross. Danilo ran past it. And I forgot completely what the name of this stadium is. As there's a back heel on right there. Led Zemmer into Gapco. This is another pass tried to be pulled off, but... We've got there again as Anthony turns inside, gives it into Klaassen, gives it into Cubas, and run on this wing is a good one. As what can we cause right here? Antuna. Danilo's got his hand up, tried to cross it a bit too late, but the ball does fall back, and that's terrible. As Felipe Max has the ball down this wing right here as well, and Led Zemmer's done very, very well to keep on side as Sanchez does come across and get his tackle, and it's going to be our ball as well. Jorge winning it. I think that's his name. I called him Carlos earlier on. I don't know why. As now Klaasan with the ball through the middle onto Jensen. As Cubas has it. Andres Cubas is going to try and... Well, that was meant to go out wide. Jensen does win it. And we do manage to 
come together as a team and keep the ball alive. That's what I didn't have in my previous teams. As that's a good ball around the corner as well into Anthony. Went to dribble inside and got caught. Very unimpressed. As now they're going to try and come at us. It's Mwene who does pull his pass off onto Ibisha. Who's going to look to try and maybe cross that. No he isn't. He's going to go backwards. And they're going to keep the ball. Edge of the box. We should have been on that one. As Van Hinkle goes from range and Gartner. Has to pull that out of his top corner. Now that is a strike. As now Delange to send that down the wing. Still can't do anything with it though. And we are chasing bodies. Mwene, Van Hinkle, Sally Deck. It's going to be proper. And we just can't really get this ball off proper. As Gapko hammers it home. And we are behind to the league leaders. We're going to fall to literally 10 points behind if this comes through. What a goal. It wouldn't be us still if we didn't go behind first again. The Champions League was an exception, but that's straight out Gartner. Right, I think we've got some goalkeeper problems at this club right here. You should be saving that one. That is absolutely shocking as Klaassen on to Jensen. Jensen's going to have to give him it back as we need to try and flood forward really quick here. That's intercepted though. On to Danilo. If Anthony would have finished his chance, we would have had a lead by now. He's going to cross that one to the back post. Good ball. Drommel punches it away though and it is going to be a corner for us. We've got a man running towards that. Davy Klassen and another good save from Drommel. Looks like we've woken up a little bit now. As can we get Klassen on this again? Dives at it. How would Bellis the centre back? And that should have kind of been a goal right there. Big chance as Kubas tries to keep this alive. That's a bad tackle. He's even injured him and nothing's given. Don't tell me this is the start of the injuries already as Gapko turns. Gives the ball. That's a good one through the middle. Onto. Is that Davi proper playing up front? I don't know. Was the hammer it again? Gortner knocks it onto his crossbar. And that was a big save as the game has to be stopped for Cubas right here. It couldn't be in the attacking move. As I'm going to have to go with Rodriguez, my second favourite CDM in this team. But I'm not happy with this performance still. And that's half time straight away. As PSV do have their lead. It is 1 0. To the host, it was a great goal as well. And this could be our second defeat of the season. But we've just got to try and get back into this somehow. And I feel like I'm going to make a change. Davy Klassen's played well. But I'm going to go I'm going to go very, very outlandish. I'm going to go for a ram and a cat on a lamb. And I'm going to put Bergweiss on right there. Rodriguez can sit on his own. I'm, I've got faith in him sitting on his own. If I just put him further, further back. There we go. And it's kind of a 4-1-4-1, but very, very attacking. And Ledzema, they started from a corner right here in this second half. Nothing so far coming from it, but Ledzema's skill is very good. As Gapko, the goal scorer, he was the one to watch. And we haven't really watched him. As now Abisha has it out on this side. It's going to be another ball in. Proper. It's good football. It's crossed straight into their face. They still keep the ball. And Abisha has made it 2-0. Oh dear, how are we letting that bounce to them right there? Top of the league, take a two-goal lead, and this is not good for us. Yep, it, it, it's not good if we're going to win this league. PSV take a lead even bigger than we expected. Hammered home at the near post. Not good, not good at all as Anthony is going to have to switch the ball out right here. And we're going to have to try and get forward with all our attacking players on the field. We've got to at least get one back and put the pressure on as Antuna into Jensen. And this left-hand side, this is good play. He's a bit too far out wide, though, for my liking. Needs to get back central. And you can kind of tell from this game, to be fair, even though I hate to admit it, why these are top of the league. They've been very, very, very comfortable in possession. Dominated us all the way. And we need to try and make a change from it right here. As Can we win that ball? Rodriguez does. On to Bergweiss. Straight through to Danilo. Can we get one back here? Drommel is a insane keeper compared to Gortner. As, oh, it's going to be their ball as well. What a save. As now Chris Wood. It's Led Zemmer. He's got to be offside. No. And they've hit the crossbar again. Okay. Now that should not have counted as they've got a player down as well. Finally, it's not us getting injured. Of course, I don't hope it's a permanent injury and a severe one. But it's going to be Mario Van Hinkle, of course, of Chelsea. As we didn't kick that drop ball, did we? And we're getting a couple of boos. I didn't know you could do that. Just play on from it. Yeah, got quite a few boos from it. As we might even get something to Nilo. Didn't get there ahead of Baumgartel in the defence though as Sadilek plays that off into Philippe Max. It's still going to be them on the ball looking for a third as that's through to Gapko. Sanchez with a good tackle. We've got to get rid of that though centre back. And I've even forgot to say the youth player's name already as Jensen not had his best game today. 
And it's Chris Wood who's come off the bench as well for them as Bergweis gives the ball into Danilo right here. We've got Antuna out wide. Can we try and cut inside with this guy right here? We've got the run. It's Jensen. Of course it's Jensen. And it's saved again. How are we supposed to score against this keeper? He's been sensational as we're going to do run near post. If we can score from this corner, we can put the pressure on for another one. Howard Bellis over the top. And we do have to, of course, try and beat the next team that we play, Feyenoord. I've got to keep that in mind with eight minutes to go in this one. But I have gone ultra attacking now. It's now or never. I still have faith with this team that we have. We can get two goals back, but it's going to still be a marathon as we, we can't even get through the ball there as Delage is left. Rather on his own at the back. We've still got a couple of players there. As oh, We had to get that pass off Rodriguez. And Ledzema switches that across to where he's free. Anthony not getting his tackle in. And Chris Wood passing it off short to Felipe Max. That's over the top into Wood who can't keep it in. And this was really a big game that we had to win. PSV will go 11 games unbeaten with this one. 11 wins in fact. Which is just sensational for them. We really had to do them twice this season with the defeats and draws that we've already had. But it's a marathon, not a sprint this division. As it's round the corner, Led Zema tried to get the ball right there. But the final whistle goes 2-0 to PSV and we lose the game. It's a game we had to do better in as Cubas. Two month, not too bad to be fair. I expected kind of worse as... Is it, was it Feyenoord? I think it was, wasn't it? That's a big game. Yeah, Feyenoord and Dortmund again. But we are only going to simulate Feyenoord in this episode. And we are not going to play Dortmund. We'll leave it at that. As we have already done our games today. As Feyenoord are actually third. These are the second best team apart from us and PSV who are challenging up there. As we've got us Academy right here. Decent little backup keeper, Rivero. But nothing more than a backup. I'd still go for Govner over him. And we've got to be ready for this game. As I've done my press conference... And because it's simulated, I feel like Jensen would have to come out of the squad for this one. And I am going to go with um, Bergweiss and Rodriguez. The usual changes, of course. So I'm going to try and make him a defensive midfielder if I can. Because Klaassen is attacking anyway. I'll put him as far back as I can. As uh, Leibad coming back onto that bench. And let's see what we can do in this one, shall we? It should be a win. If it is, we can still stay on PSV's tails. If not, we can probably prioritise the Champions League already. As what is it going to be? We're at home. And we lose three games on the trot. Conte with a brace. Klaassen with one. And Texiera. It's not going well. I've only beaten 20 so far. Where does that leave us in the league after quite a rocky start? I've got faith we can still change uh, change this around, you know. It, uh, of course, keeps us there. But they're one point within us now, Feyenoord. And PSV have a game in hand. Let's hope they lose that game in hand. And let's hope with this team, which is going up in ratings still somehow, that we can win against Dortmund next time round. As I feel like I've set my team already. Also, I think I need another striker. Danilo did score a couple of goals in that game, but I do want someone better, as that is how we're going to end this episode out. Rather below par start, but we've just come from the championship to the Champions League. I've said that so many times, but we're going to have to see how it goes. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, share and subscribe. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Of course, make sure you do drop comments down below on players you want me to sign, because I can actually listen. I have a budget this time, so I do read all the comments. Make sure you get them down below and I will see you all in the next one. Take care in a bit. I'm absolutely sweating right now. Peace out, guys.